What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a questions and answers video for you guys. I know there's a lot of you people on here so thank you so much guys for hitting 13,000 subscribers. That means so much to me. You guys have no idea. So I thought this kind of video would be awesome just so that I can kind of introduce myself and let you guys know who I am. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have your questions right here on this notebook. I wrote them down. I went on Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me some questions. Before I start this video though, I did want to tell you guys that I am going to SEMA this weekend. I will be flying out on the 3rd all the way to the 8th. So if you do see me walking by or if you see me on the street, come say hi. Don't be shy. I really, really, really like to talk to you guys. And plus, I'll be filming so you can make it into the vlog. Yeah. So question number one is, where does the name Macbeth come from? I had a friend named Jonathan back in 2010, and he told me that I reminded him of the Romeo and Juliet, I believe it is, Macbeth, and he said that I shall be Lady Macbeth. So I don't really understand why he gave me the name, but I thought it was pretty cool at the time, and it was unique, so I changed the, the M-A-C to M-I-C-K, copyright, <laughs> don't, don't sue me. <laughs> yeah, Macbeth was born. <laughs> Number two, what is your top five car picks? That's hard because I love a lot of cars. Um, top five, top five, top five. Um, okay, I'm gonna start with five and then go to my favorite one. Um, I wanna say the Lexus RCF. Um, a right-hand drive R34. Right-hand drive R35. <laughs> I really like GTRs guys. You have no idea. Um, I want to say a 2JZ swap 240SX. Those things are fucking mint and I wish, I hope I can have one on this channel. So fingers crossed for that. Um, and my favorite one has to be the McLaren S20S. Yes. <laughs> You guys have no idea how much of a fan I am of McLaren. I really hope one day, fingers crossed, that I can own one. Actually, you guys don't believe me, wait. All right, I have a vision board, and on the vision board is this McLaren. Yeah, I really wanna own one, it's my dream car, so. Hopefully, uh, we can make that happen. <laughs> Number three, what are your plans for the FRS? Well, I, there was a time where I wanted to do a 2JZ swap. And it, at the time, I would have been the second person to do a 2JZ swap. There was someone else here in New Jersey who was doing it. His name is Justin. Um, his car, unfortunately, got bashed in in, a, in uh, the paint booth. Someone at nighttime just came through and just went flying into the garage and completely destroyed his build. So if you're watching this, Justin, I'm sorry. Um, but I wanted to do it second and the plans didn't work out because I just, I just lost a bunch of like hope on my build. It was a lot of money as well and I, I just couldn't do it. But now that I'm more like pumped about my car and wanna do more to it, I think that I want to fulfill that dream again. Maybe not now, cause it is a show car but I would like to change the Y body. I would like to do some engine work in there, uh, maybe a tune. Um, I, I wanna replace everything from the exhaust, the wheels, a lot of cosmetics for sure. Um, I think a lot of people forget that I'm mostly a show car. I'm not racing, not yet at least. I do wanna in the future have a, a drift build or something like that, but right now the FRS is just a show car. My plans for the FRS, just more cosmetics and then later on, hopefully get into a 2JZ build. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm gonna sneeze. Am I gonna sneeze? I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Gross. Four. <laughs> How do you cope with hate? A lot of you guys know some of the crazy shit that I've gone through in the past couple of years in being in the car community and all that. Um, some don't, some do. Um, 
the way I tackle hate is I make fun of myself. <laughs> it's like, it, it's reverse psychology. If someone's laughing at you, you gotta laugh at yourself because then they won't think it's funny. They're laughing is because they think that it's causing you pain or you know, you're feeling some type of way. When you're laughing about it, they really don't want you to think it's funny so they stop making fun of it, if that makes sense. I also use comment filters on YouTube and on Instagram and pretty much everywhere else where I'm allowed to do that um, because you guys wouldn't imagine the crazy shit that I get on here and on Instagram comment sections. And it, it'll be anything between, oh, um, you are a slut because you're showing your boobies. I can't do nothing about having titties, okay? So if you don't like boobies, don't watch the video. <laughs> and if you don't like modeling photos, don't follow me on Instagram. So it's just that easy. Um, instead of looking through the comments, I just filter them out and I don't look at the filter section. Maybe one day I'll do a video on looking at my filter section because that shit's probably wild in there, but I, I do not look at none of those things. You know someone really wants to hurt you with words or be a keyboard warrior when they bypass the comment filter. Um, and by that I mean like I have the word boobs or booby, titties, what anything that you could think of with boobs, it, it's, it has been filtered out, right? Someone will go out of their way to say melons, but melons is also filtered out now. But they'll be like, oh, your melons are a distraction. No wonder why the car community is effed up. And I'll sit there and I'm like, what the fuck does my titties have anything to do with my video? Like, I have them. They're there. Sorry. So, yeah, stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't give a flying shit. So, if you're offended by tits or modeling pictures then don't watch it. And if you're one of those people that are watching right now and you feel like commenting something negative, just exit the video, honestly. Like I always say, if you're not gonna say it in person, don't comment it. You see this thumb right here? This thumb blocks a lot of accounts. Um, I do go through the comment section and I know there'll be a time, hopefully, where where I won't be able to see all the comments uh, because it'll probably be too much. But as of right now, you know, I average about 80 to 150 comments per video. So I'm able to skim through it. And between the comment filter and, and like YouTube helping me on that department and me actually looking through it, I'm able to delete really bad comments and block those profiles. The crazy part about that is that people will comment negative things because they know that I'm going to block it and they get satisfaction in knowing that I saw that comment and I went ahead and I blocked them. It's sort of like, oh, I pissed her off enough to block. No, I just think you're a fucking idiot and you're not worth my time. Number five, <laughs> what do you do for a living? Okay, <laughs> so I own a bar with my uncle. I'm a 30% shareholder for the company, so I'm very happy with what I do, but it's not what I want to do in life. Uh, nobody knows where I work, what's the name of the bar, nothing other than my partner and my family. Um, I try to keep it as secret as possible because I don't like people coming into my bar. I have ran through some people that know me, and it's inevitable when you live in New York City. Now I live in Jersey, but you know in new york where i work it's kind of hard to hide that when you see me so if you know you know and if you don't i'm sorry i started off as a dishwasher waitress bartender host um floor manager manager and then owner so it was the, it was pretty fucking long <laughs> um i like my job but it's not what i want to do with my life um i did drop out of school out of college um to fulfill my uh ownership it's not it's not that I didn't want to finish school, it's just school isn't for me and I feel like I have more to offer to the world than be stuck behind textbooks. It's just how I see it for my life personally. If you're watching this video and you're in school, by all means, do your thing. I would like to see you succeed, but school is not the only option. There's different things that you can do to be happy and successful in life. Um, my, my dream job, aside from being a bar owner, is to do YouTube full time and you know, this is actually becoming a reality, so thank you. <laughs> I'm not about to cry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to do YouTube. Well, give me a second. <laughs> um, I'm good. <laughs> Um, I want to do YouTube as my full-time job. I really believe that I can make it on here um, It's always been my dream and I just can't believe that it's happening <laughs> And I get really emotional talking about that because 
you know down from like my parents to you know friends they really didn't believe in me and to just see this shit happening right now to see 13,000 people are watching to see such supportive fans and, and this is crazy <laughs> number six uh, will you stop modeling I don't know so I started modeling when I was 16, 15, 16 years old, I did pageants and it wasn't really my style. There was always a standard smile, standard weight, a standard look, and I just wasn't it. So I incorporated my modeling hobby with cars and I thus became a car model, which <laughs> later on I, I kind of understood why actual car people didn't like car models because there's this whole thing about them. Um, but genuinely, I was a professional model. I um, I did a lot of runway um actually look at this crown this was this was one of the crowns that i won when i was competing um i was miss dominican republic i was miss midland beach i did a lot of those and when i came into the car industry i tried to like incorporate both of them and you know it worked well i was getting booked for shows and shoots and all that stuff but now that i'm more into cars and doing youtube i really wanted to stick to my automotive platform instead of modeling so i don't think i will be but you'll occasionally see some photos <laughs> number seven what inspired me to start my youtube channel we gonna get emotional again um i wanted to start my youtube channel because as much as i love my job um and being an owner and, and being able to party all the time um it gets boring it's very dull um i feel like i'm wasting my time at night you know um i don't really travel i didn't travel much but like when i started youtube i started to travel um I wasn't going out anywhere or doing anything and I felt so stuck, you know, and I had this big passion. I remember um, I lived in Staten Island at the time and I didn't have a garage or anything and I just bought this little Canon flip camera <laughs> and um, I just started shooting videos and started doing Facebook lives and all of that and then Instagram came out with their face uh, with their Instagram live and I would go on there and I would just make clips of dumb stuff or me putting on new headlights and people would always tell me like yo you should do a youtube channel if you're going to be doing all these clips and i said okay i mean she i'm gonna try it when i first started instagram it was like my modeling portfolio i chose that platform as my modeling portfolio and then it became more about my car and stuff like that so youtube was going to be my portfolio of like things that i've done i like i wanted to keep those memories and i was making videos but i wasn't getting views and in the beginning i didn't care but then i, I really became obsessed I, I said why isn't nobody watching my stuff and it's because i was really bad at marketing myself and i just wasn't putting a lot of effort into it because i thought that it wasn't gonna go anywhere you know so i really doubted myself a lot until i didn't which thank god i didn't because here we are now <laughs> i want to travel i want to be able to do all these cool adventures and meet new people and just overall like be able to capture almost every single moment of my life and do what I love. And when I'm on my deathbed, I can say, play my video from start till whenever I pass. And I know that sounds so deep, but, but that's how I would want it. <laughs> so I want to be able to look back and just be like, wow, that was my life. Number eight is, is it harder living in New York or New Jersey and creating content? Hmm. I will say that it's hard creating content here because we have what you call winter and fall <laughs> you can get away with fall but winter not so much um you could do a lot of drifting in the snow and stuff like that but it kind of gets boring so making content out here would be a lot harder um i do want to move to the west coast later on in my life this is something that i've talked to my partner about and something that i've actually spoken to my friends about um I think I would like to start a family out there and do my YouTube content over there since it's summer 24-7. Like, I could deal with a little bit of rain. I just can't deal with no snow. I'm not a snow person. You guys know this. You, if you don't know, now you know. I do not like snow for nothing. Um, I don't like skiing. I don't like snowboarding. I don't like none of that shit. <laughs> so, um yeah I, I would move to the west coast and it's definitely very hard to create content here unless you have a fully built garage and you can work 
on your car inside the garage which currently i'm working on so home depot or lowe's if you're watching sponsor me because i need some drywall some insulation <laughs> some cabinets <laughs> so that's the only way i'd be able to create content is if i fix up my garage nine what are your youtube channel goals hmm. Right now, I'm just taking it one step at a time. Like, I'm going to SEMA. I'm going to have SEMA content on here. And then after I come back, I want to work a little bit more on the body of my FRS and, and show you guys how I prep it for winter here. Um, but I do want to have a project car. Um, if, you that, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I suggest you do because I post a lot of things on there, like a lot of behind the scenes. So um, you can click at Macbeth. Or I'm going to leave the link down below. But I've been looking at, like, nissan 300 zx's or 240 sx 350z's um uh i've been looking into 2j's right now for my frs as well so i really don't know where the channel is really going but i do know that i want to get a project car so i've been saving it looks like i really want to get a 350z or a 300 zx like i really want to have one of those two to start on this channel but uh, we don't know yet if that's gonna happen because it's all about the monies before I can do it. So that's why I've been working my butt off these past couple of weeks. And that's why I'm not posting twice a week because I have to work almost every single day. Like today, I took off of work so I can make this video and actually edit and, and take some time to prep for SEMA. Cause I know that once Friday comes, I'm gonna be so swamped and I'm not gonna have time to do none of this stuff. So I'm doing it today. Um, but that's where I want my channel to go, you know, and eventually move up to exotics or, uh, uh, you know, car restorations and buying them from Copart and starting from scratch. I'm a really big fan of B is for Build and Chris Fix, so I watch a lot of their um, restoration videos and I would like to do that as well. So you can look forward to something like that later on in the future. Last but not least, number 10. Do you have any female car friends? I do. But not many um you guys all know that i'm really good friends with sarah and tuned i really wish that i lived next to her or if she lived next to me because i feel like we would be together 24 7 all the time um she is one of the few car friends that i have unfortunately um and i'm content with that i'm happy that she's one of the few um i want to say i have two more other car friends car girl friends but they're not really car girls like they don't really work on their cars they just know about it they're in the industry you know i'm kind of happy that it's that little bit because i feel like car girls in general are very um you know like i don't know how to explain it they're very catty and i don't like drama i just like doing my own thing and there's a lot of females that are so jealous of your success or whatever you're doing and have time for drama like sarah she don't give a shit like i don't give a shit either and this is why we get we get along very very well because we don't argue about what sh he said, she said. We don't compare ourselves. We don't talk about what we have. You know, we're just genuinely in it for cars and, and content and having each other side by side. So I'm very happy to have her as a friend, but I don't really have many. I would like to meet some, but I always get scared to meet other females in this industry because you just never know who's there to use you or who's there to copy your content or who's there to just munch off of you, you know? So I try to keep my, my circle very small and yeah. So I guess that answers that. <laughs> that's me as a little baby. That's me. That's a little lish. That's a little McNugget. Board. If you guys wanted to see up close and personal, this is the McLaren. Um, I want to hit 20,000 subscribers. I want to work out, make some money. And this is my favorite quote. Keep your goals high and your cars low. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I see you guys at SEMA. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>